Is is this the one? Yeah, the... Alright. Thank you. I'll... Let me... Can I be alone with them for a little bit? Thanks. Hey, kid. Whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down. Relax. No danger. No danger. Where are you? You're, um... You're, uh... You're at the orphanage. Well, well, more accurately, you're in the quarantine part of the orphanage. Why? Um... Here. Let me sit down next to you. Do you know what you are? You are a human. Do you know what that is? Okay, yes, you know, you know what a human is. That, that's good. So, child, um... In our world... Um... Humans went extinct millions of years ago. And to see a human child is like... It's like seeing the second coming of Jesus. I, uh... I was brought in because I was told you may feel more comfortable with the more human-looking monster. Not that I consider myself monster folk. I mean, I'm a Neko. I'm more human than a monster, but... Well, I'm more related to a cat, but we're not, we're not going to get into that. Anyway, look. I'm here to kind of help you get adjusted to our society. Uh, I understand that maybe a lot. Any more humans? Uh, no, you're you're the only one that we know about. I mean, maybe there's some around the Earth, but I mean, only Gaia would know about that. And well, I'm not about to go wake up the sleeping goddess. Look, this may or may not be good to you, but. You're going to be staying with me for now. At least until we figure out what's safe and not safe for you. They figured it'd be better that you'd hang around someone who looks like you and can properly educate you. That, and they figured, with my background, I could... Well... Uh, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing for you to concern yourself about. But just know I'm here for you, all right? Hmm? What do you have to eat? Oh, have they not given you lunch? Uh, let's see. I brought my bag. Let's see what I have in it. Do you like ham and cheese? <laughs> Your face lit up at that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, when you were... I guess in your world, did they have ham and cheese? I don't know if you came from the past, or if by some miracle you slipped through dimensions. It's unknown, honestly. Well, of course dimension hip-hopping has happened before, but not with humans. Sure, with vampires, orcs, some different species of ghouls have slipped through, and obviously very powerful magical beings could walk through on a whim, but... Never with a human. So, I don't think it's that. Maybe we were in a stasis pod, but if that's the case, why would you suddenly just pop up in the middle of college grounds? Yes, that's where you popped up. I'm sure you were scared when you suddenly woke up and found yourself in a bed that you didn't know where you were at, but yeah, you just kind of teleported in the courtyard and people got wind of it and quickly hushed you away in a van, traveling you many states away. Why? We don't know how people will react to you being a human, and we don't want to put you in any unnecessary danger, if that makes sense. We just kind of wrote it off as a Neko who got their ears and tail cut off, but some people had to be... Let's not talk about that. 
Let's stick to the pappy things, shall we? How old are you, anyway? Huh. I've been calling you a child all this time, but... Well, I mean, I suppose you're still a kid. At least compared to me. Well, I mean, how old are you? Like, ten? Nine? Well, I mean, in, in most monster folk, ages vary greatly for children. Uh, example. People, um, Nekos, tend to start to mature around 13 and 14 years old. So, to me, if you were a Neko, you'd be about 16, 17 years old. Versus, well... Well, let's picture a dragon. They take hundreds of years to mature. Right? And vampires don't even get me started. My point is, is maturity-wise, you're very different. So you have another about 10 to 11 years to grow. At least from the research I was able to get about humans, but it's very limited. Obviously, I mean, it's been millions of years since even one of you was sighted, let alone your history and biology. But I was able to get basic information. Hmm. How long will it be till you can move into my home? Uh, roughly about a day and a half. The paperwork's still in the process. They wanted me to come meet you before it was finalized, so I decided to come in. I mean, I was going to come anyway, but... Uh, monetary incentive isn't bad either. Relax, it's, it's okay. Hey. Your parents. I... I I'm sorry, but they're... I don't think they're coming for you, little one. I'm, I'm truly sorry. I, don't, don't cry. Hey, hey, shh, 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 shh. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, little one. I'm here for you. It's okay. here for you. Always. Alright? I know I can't replace your parents, but I'm gonna protect you the best I can, okay? You... You're my little kitten now. <laughs> and I want to keep you safe. Alright? Alright. Here, come here. Come in for a hug. Hmm. Come on. Take my hand. I'm reaching it out for you. Come on. There you go. That's it. Embrace the hug. I'm soft. <laughs> Do you want to pet the ears? Everyone always asks to. <laughs> of course. You can pet them. Go ahead. <laughs> Do you like it? Good. I'm gonna set you down now, okay? Set you right back on the bed. There you go. I have to go for now, okay? I need to go finalize this paperwork, but you be good, okay? Listen to the doctors, and listen to the therapist, and in about a day and a half, I'll see you again, okay? All right. I, uh, I love you too. That kid. Orphaned at such a young age. I can't tell him about his, the parents. No, it's better they don't know. That was such a bloody gruesome sight. I hate lying. But it's for their own good. Right? I'm gonna make sure this kid doesn't meet that same fate. Yeah. I'm gonna protect him with everything I got. Don't care what the council says. <laughs>